Mark Perez with SoCal Properties. I'm in front of Sergio Rosinski. Today, we are gonna be talking about condos versus single family residence. The pros and cons. First of all, let's begin. What are the pros with buying a condo, Sergio? The pros of buying a condo are the price. Compared to a single family residence, they're much cheaper. Also, a lot of things are taken care of already. So you do end up paying an HOA. The HOA covers landscaping, covers water, trash, and certain insurances, security, etc. So it covers very practical things, but mainly it's, it's meant to cover the outside of the property. So it takes a lot of like the, uh, the legwork out of the process. Now, do you find a lot of your first time home buyers purchasing condos, single family residence. In this current market, I do see that a lot. I do see a lot of my first time home buyers, you know, get their foot into the door by purchasing a condo or a townhome. It's a great option. And like I said, generally the prices are lower for a condo townhome compared to a single family residence. Now we talked about all the pros and the positive side of purchasing a condo. Now let's talk about the cons. The cons, so when the market drops in the sense of price, the values of condos and townhomes fall at a faster rate than the rate of a single family would. So, you know, value-wise, that's something to keep in mind. Also, um, you're gonna have that, that, uh, that extra fee month to month, which is the HOA fee. Compared to single family residence, um, you just, you know, you're paying your, your, your mortgage, and that covers pretty much everything. With a condo townhome, you pay your mortgage plus HOA. So just an additional fee to consider. Another question, regarding the financing of a condo, can anyone get any loan to qualify for a condo, meaning the complex, does the complex have to qualify for a particular financing? What is that dynamic? Please explain that to me. That's a fantastic point because generally in the escrow process, one of the hurdles that we'll encounter is that the HOA and the loan will not be compatible. Meaning, you know, that not all loans qualify for that HOA. So sometimes FHA's policies or qualifications are very, very strict and won't allow for it to qualify for that HOA. However, conventional financing generally will uh, will qualify for it. That's awesome. It is. Most definitely. Thank you for your time. You. I think you answered all the questions. And uh, if you are interested in purchasing or selling, Sergio is your man. Absolutely. Thank you. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you.